A person puts $1,000 in a savings account that earns 5% per year. Determine the number of years required for the investment to double. All right, so since we have a percent increase each year, that means we have exponential growth. So let's write down our formula for exponential model. So the amount we're going to have after n time periods, which in this case is going to be years because our percent is given in years, is going to equal the amount that we're starting with times 1 plus the rate of change to the power of the number of time periods. Okay, so let's see. What do we know? What is... What is this number? Where does that number go? You got it? Good. That's going to be our initial amount. All right. What other number are we given? We are given 5% per year. Where's that going to go? Good job. That's going to go here as a decimal. So let's write it out. Now we've got Q sub N equals 1,000 times 1 plus, and then 5% as a decimal is 0.05 to the nth power. Now we can clean this up a little bit and write this as 1.05 or 105% of, you know, to the nth power. So every year it's going to be multiplied by 105%, the initial value. So the question here is how determine the number of years required for the investment to double. Now, you may be tempted to put something in here and solve algebraically. We're not going to solve this algebraically, okay? We're going to use a graph to solve it. And maybe I'll come back and talk about the algebra part in a minute and where we kind of get stuck. We used guess and check on this before, um, and maybe we'll talk about that as well. But I really want to look at a graph and show you how easy and cool this is to solve this with a graph. So now remember in this model, n is our input and q sub n is our output. So I'm going to rewrite this using the variables y and x because those are a little more common when we're graphing. And since we're going to use Desmos, we want to use y and x. So like I said, I'm using Desmos, but you could use any kind of graphing utility. All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to type in y equals 1,000, which is our initial amount, 1.05 to the x power. And I can't see my, my graph anywhere. Well, think about when x was 0, that would be no time periods at all. How much did you have? You had 1,000. So i got to go all the way up here to 1,000. I need to definitely change the scale on this thing. Oh, there it is. There's my $1,000. OK. Remember, you're going to hold down your Shift button and then move this around. Or you could use this little wrench and change your x and y values here. Okay, so this shows the growth of my money over a certain time period, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. We wanted to know how long it would take for the investment to double. So that would be $2,000. So we want to know when is my output or when is my Y value $2,000. So what we're going to type in on the next line is Y equals 2,000. And this is the line when it equals $2,000. And notice a point popped up here where my curve that represents my growth of my money is equal to 2,000. I click on that dot, and I get a point. The x value of that point is 14.2. The y value is 2,000. What is that telling me? It's telling me when n is 14.2, q sub n is 2,000. So in other words, 14.2 years. How easy is that? Don't you love it? All right, so come over here, and I say, uh, I saw, I looked at a graph, and I uh, put a little place for you guys to, to draw a graph of this, so you should do that in your notes. And then we say n equals 14 point whatever it was, I forgot already, 14.2, so a little over 14 years. I mean, this doesn't have to be exact, right? A little, a little more than 14 years. All right, I hope that helps. And so whatever uh, amount that you want to figure out, let's say you want to figure out how much time it'll take before I have $1,300. Then you just put that at 13 and you click there. Five years, right? That's kind of cool. How long will it take before I have uh, uh, $5,000? It's going to be a while. It's going to be 32 years. Pretty cool. All right, hope you enjoyed that.